Second story. Just yesterday, some of you may be aware I visited a mosque in Baltimore. To let our Muslim American brothers and sisters know that they too are Americans and welcome here. And there I met a Muslim American named uh, Rami uh, Nashashibi, who runs a nonprofit working for social change in Chicago. And he forms coalitions with churches and uh, Latino groups and African Americans and this poor neighborhood in Chicago. And he told me about how the day after the tragedy in San Bernardino happened, he took his three young children to a playground in the Marquette Park neighborhood. And while they were out, the time came for one of the five daily prayers that are essential to the Muslim tradition. And on any other day, he told me, he would have immediately put his rug out on the grass right there and prayed. But that day, he paused. He feared any unwelcome attention he might attract to himself and his children. And a seven-year-old daughter asked him, what are you doing, Dad? Isn't it time to pray? And he thought of all the times he had told her the story of the day that Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. and Rabbi Robert Marks and 700 other people marched to that very same park Enduring hatred and bigotry, dodging rocks and bottles and hateful words in order to challenge Chicago housing segregation and to ask America to live up to our highest ideals. And so at that moment, drawing from the courage of men of different religions, of a different time, Rami refused to teach his children to be afraid. Instead, he taught them to be a part of that legacy of faith and good conscience. I want them to understand that sometimes faith will be tested, he told me, and that we will be asked to show immense courage like others have before us to make our city, our country, and a world a better reflection of all our ideals. And he put down his rug and he prayed. Now, those two stories, they give me courage, and they give me hope, and they instruct me in my own Christian faith. I can't imagine a moment in which that young American sergeant expressed his Christianity more profoundly than when confronted by his own death, he said, we are all Jews. I, I can't imagine a, a clear expression of Jesus' teachings. I can't imagine a better expression of the peaceful spirit of Islam than when a Muslim father filled with fear drew from the example of a Baptist preacher and a Jewish rabbi to teach his children what God demands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I pray that by his grace, we all find the courage to set such examples in our own lives.